soon believe that the Caucasian race is by far superior to all other races. This is racism. It is called white supremacism. Racism can be expressed subtly, this being much harder to identify. White supremacism can be expressed overtly and accepted by mainstream in a blink of an eye, without questioning such overt antics. Picture this, a white bearded figure named Saint Nicholas sitting on a white horse and wearing religious red bishop robes. Let's not forget, Christians associated the color black with evil and degradation. His submissive slave servant named Zwarte Piet, who has supposedly evolved from the uh, devil and was miraculously tamed by that wonderful white supremacist Saint Nicholas. Others say that Pete is an Ethiopian slave freed by that poor and very white saint. So, as it goes, Zwarte Pete symbolized the devil, a joker who was submissive, frightening and disobedient. Anyone who shouts it's Dutch tradition is using this to block intelligent analysis and maintain the status quo of negative stereotyping. Get educated and read about the Dutch history of colonialism and slavery and stuff tradition where the sun doesn't shine. Hello children! I'm Saint Nicholas against racism. Why? When a child of five years says to this when a child of five years says to his school teacher, he cannot not be Saint Nicholas. And the school teacher asks, why not? To which the five-year-old boy replies, because his skin is black. You may wonder why I'm dressed as Saint Nicholas with a black face. To which I will reply, why not? This question was asked recently by a five-year-old boy in a Dutch school. Thank you, children. Hello. Hello.